Playgrounds are a great place to have fun outdoors in any season, but unfortunately they do pose a risk for injury. I'm Michael Alfonso, Pediatric Emergency Medicine Physician at New York Presbyterian Wild Cornell Medical Center, and I'm here to talk about playground safety. Most of our playgrounds are outside, so the weather matters. On a hot day, you don't want to be wearing a sweater, but in the winter months, children generally need one extra layer of clothing than their adult counterparts. But when it's hot outside, the playground surface or metal surfaces like the slide can heat up fast. If either surface is hot to the touch, it's not only possibly dangerous to slide down, it's also hot enough outside that your child could be at risk for dehydration or heat exhaustion. Because kids are focused on fun and playtime, be sure to have them take breaks, seek shade, and drink plenty of fluids. Monkey bars and climbing rings are a great way to exercise and use your upper body strength. Um, but if they're used by kids that are too young and don't have that upper body strength to support their own weight, you could easily slip and fall. So whenever playing on climbing rings or something on an elevated surface where you could slip and fall and hurt your elbow or hit your head, we certainly want to make sure that a child's adequately supervised. On a bright sunny day, you can seek the shade of a tree or bring an umbrella to protect yourself from the sun's rays and cool off a bit. Be sure to apply sunblock on children six months and older every two hours to prevent sunburn using at least SPF 15 or 30. And for kids too young for sunblock, keep them out of the direct sunlight. If you find yourself though needing an umbrella because it started to rain or snow, uh, it's probably the best idea to head home. When the playground gets wet with rain or snow, it could be slippery, which would increase your risk of injury. So some of our parks have swimming pools. It's a good opportunity to take swimming lessons to learn how to swim. If your child doesn't know how to swim, make sure that they maintain a life jacket at all times. Uh, it's important that we have parental supervision at all times. And then you're only swimming in a pool when there's a lifeguard. Parks are a great place for a child's social development, developing their brain, but also exercising their body. So make sure to keep those little ones safe. Please follow the rules. It's the best way to prevent unnecessary injuries.